Hello and welcome to Tech Checker. Today I'm going to be showing you this KK Moon Double Din Bluetooth Car Stereo. Let's have a look. It comes well padded. Turn it out. Got some other accessories in the back here. So we've got a adapter for a different types of radio into the back of here so you've got all your power and your audio out also got a mini camera with all the leads as well so you can set up as a reversing camera let's take the packaging out this is a double din size radio you got a transfer slot here on the side you've got a USB there a auxiliary input there dial here microphone there for doing voice calls and infrared there as well so yeah doesn't weigh much doubled in size on the back we've got the two inputs one for the um, speakers and one for the sound uh, one for the sound of speakers one for the power you've got video in and video out uh, and then your antenna there for your um, radio aerial so let's get this plugged in give you a rough idea of what it looks like so that's the speakers this is the power only go in one way so I'm going to connect that into there like so you've got key on that one parking sensor wires on that one power on that one earth that's for your amplifier and that's for your ignition positive so I'll take these off a second three we'll see this has got all the fittings it's a double din size so it's only going to fit certain cars so make sure when you're ordering this you realize it's not a standard size car radio it's a double din size so if I connect up do, 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 that's the power if I connect these two to the power this one to the earth I should be able to get you a picture and give you some sort of rough idea ok so I've got those two plugged on Try it on, hopefully that's gonna give it some power. There we go. So obviously at the moment there's no um there's no no aerial, but you can see it's touch screen, touch the tuning, got an equalizer. Rock, classical, here? pop, off, um, and then if we change lift the volume, we go to home. You got your music, you got your movies, you got your photos, auxiliary in, nothing's in at the moment. Back to home, Explorer, and your Bluetooth, and your photos as well. Let's get a, let's get a memory stick so there's something on here.
memory stick and movies USB and then it's brought up a load of um, different series there's one series I'm watching this is us obviously there's no audio this gives you an idea of the quality of a picture Very good quality. Go back. Go. Play and pause. Terms of video orientation as well. So yes, yeah, really good. Just to balance, just to fade, just the EQ, loud. Let's go back. Take this one out. And then obviously you've got your reversing camera in here, which you can also link up to this and use this as a reversing camera. So um, as soon as my car gets back from the garage, I'm going to be installing this. Um, just unplug it for a minute so I don't get the worst touching. As you can see, the touch display works really well. The screen, the picture's really good quality. It's got all the bits of information on there. Still got the screen. I'm not going to peel all that off. I'm going to leave that. And obviously, you can lock it in with these bolts at the back as well. And that's for your antenna. So, yeah. And it's a really good price as well, £53.99. So hopefully this video has been of some help to you. Okay, so what I've decided to do is to um, do a bench test on this to show you if you have a uh, bought one of these and you want to fit in your stereo. I'm going to try and simulate those setup. So you've got a ground, which I've connected a wire to which will be going to the ground, the negative and obviously on your radio you're going to need to take your old radio out you're going to have, if you've already got this plug already on there you're, you're in result, you can just plug it straight in sometimes the plugs are different so what you need to know is the um, black is your earth the yellow is a constant live so I'll connect that up, so that's a constant live. You then have a red, which is an ignition live. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to turn your ignition on and find out which one is the um, live that comes on on the back of the stereo when the ignition's on. That's that one. So let me just plug this in for a minute. So at the moment we have oh and be careful you don't touch wires we'll just find a fuse. No, it's cool. See so that's another thing you gotta watch out for, make sure that you don't touch wires. Now this ACC is basically your ignition, so when you turn your key on, on your car, that will then turn that on. So I'm gonna connect those together. So that's pretending that my ignition's on. Let me just get a bit of tape around that so it doesn't earth out on anything. Obviously you need to use proper connections. I'm just doing this to show you how everything works. Okay. 
There you go. So that's come on now. It says welcome. And obviously the screen. Nothing else is going to work on it in a minute because obviously I can't connect an area in it, but I can show you everything else working. Right. So if you've got an electric antenna, that's what this cable goes to. You can also use it for amplifiers. Then you've got key. It's all written in here. Pretty sure it is anyway. Right, okay, so you've got Blue is for your amplifier. Yellow is your constant power, as I said. Pink is for your parking sensor. Have you got a parking sensor? Ground is your black or your earth. And then the blue is for your power antenna. Okay, so that's that all fitted. So there you go. That's that showing up. Now, in regards to the reversing camera, pretty straightforward to fit. There's your camera. You want to fit that on the back of the vehicle, obviously near to the as uh, near to the bumper, uh, underneath or wherever in a place close as you can to the back of the car. This has its own power supply which what I would do would be to my personal preference would be to connect the power for this up to your reversing light then when you put it into reverse it powers it on and you haven't got to worry about mucking about so I'm going to strip these wires back you've got a black and a red Red is obviously the live, black is the earth. Let's stick that earth in there. Obviously, you won't be sticking it in there, you'll be connecting it to a um, a good ground. And then the live, as I say, I would personally stick it to a reversing light. Okay, and there you go, even those little LED lights show you it's working. So that's that. You then get a really long lead. One end goes into here. And that looks like it could be used for a power to power the reversing light if you wanted to use that and then obviously connect the power to this end. So let's go video one in. I think it's video one in. Now if we go to home and then go to auxiliary in. Where is that camera? There you go, that's working straight away. Get it up so you can see it without the sunlight reflecting off it. That is working. Okay, I've just pulled the earth out, so that's not going to work at the minute. Let me just get this back on. So she's got to boot up again. We go home. Auxiliary in. And there you go. See me there. See my face. I wave. See it waving in the camera. It's also got the little lines to show you how far you are away. It's a bit hard to see in the thingy. 
try and zoom in so you can see that. So that's the reversing camera working. So that's all set up. Now we go and grab a memory stick. Let's get out of that. Go back to home. Now obviously if you've got a radio plugged in, you can the aerial, you can go to radio, you can then tune in your radio. Let's get this. So this is your speaker connections. So purple's one set, orange is another set, white's another set, green is another set. So one's gonna be the front front right, front left, rear right, rear left. So on the radio, green is your rear left speaker, white is your front left speaker, black and grey is your front left speaker, violet is your rear speaker. Think the grey they mean orange. Okay, so right, let me just get a speaker sorted out. This is just to pretend that this is your speaker. Obviously, it's going to go through the loom. I'll connect it into the purple because that's just the closest one to me. So, it's going to be going into your speaker. And I'll plug that into the port. See, there's no sound because I've got no antenna. But if I go into sources, I can either go Bluetooth. Let's just stick this on for a second. Let's see what's on here. Go Explorer, Movie, USB. Right, let me get film on there because there's no films on there. There you go. This one's got some films on it. Go so plug that in. Go back to movie. Obviously, I can't play this for long, but yeah, I'll give you an idea. Forward it a bit. I won't put it on this horror film for different ones because obviously I don't want to leave them playing for too long because I don't want to be done for copyright infringement. It's a good picture though. It's a bit hard to see with the glare from the roof. Fast. There you go, see that one? And there you go. So yeah, really straightforward. I've had this on my bench for a while. I'll come back in a bit. I'll leave it connected just so that you can see. Um, and I'll come back and check on in it later. Let's just go Bluetooth actually. Let's get my phone. And let's connect. Connect up the Bluetooth. We go Bluetooth. Bluetooth on. Bluetooth. Car BT, it's come up straight away. Can make and receive phone calls from it. Um, it's connected to my phone, it says my phone name there. 
So let's see if we can do Bluetooth music. There's all the different other connections here. Frequencies, outputs, power, etc. Russell's iPhone, so it's now connected to my phone. Playing my, playing my phone now. Stop that. Okay, back to Bluetooth. Back to make a phone call. Uh, Check your bill and what allowances you've got left. Press one to make a payment for the number. There you go. So it shows the Bluetooth um, working, the hands-free kit working. So it's got a built-in microphone as well, so you can use this as a Bluetooth calling hands-free kit as well. It will hold a trans flash card. It's got an auxiliary in, the USB in. It's amazing for the price. I really don't know how they how they've managed to do it. I'll leave this on for a bit just so that you can um, see that there's no problems or turn it off and to, to just our base I can turn it on and turn it off all the different adapters let's turn it off press and hold so it's powered it off leave it off for a second turn it back on come up welcome Obviously there's nothing on the radio, it's connected to my phone already. Um, I'll leave it on for a minute, um, just to give you some sort of idea. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see my watch. It's 3 o'clock now. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, 3 minutes to 3 o'clock. I'll leave this on come back turn it off turn it on every so often just to show you that there's no problems with it it's just a case of knowing how to wire it up properly if you're not sure on the wiring get someone who knows what they're doing to do it don't muck about with your car electrics you could end up catching your car on fire you could be in the right state if you don't know what you're doing don't attempt it leave it to someone who does know what they're doing so I'll just leave this at the minute, I'll put it on um, fast forward time and let you see that this is working fine. Hopefully this video has been of some help. Ten past, still working. Turn it off. Turn it on. One thing I didn't do is do the clock. So let's do the clock certainly. Um, so we'll do the clock quickly.
times now set. This has been going, this has been on uh, 40 minutes. Still working fine. Let's turn it off. Turn it back on. Test the uh, reverse camera again. That's still working. So yeah, that's all hunky dory. Everything's working. It's been going. I've had it on for forty minutes. No problems. Turned it off and on a couple of times. All working. So as far as I'm concerned, that's fine. I'll be quite happy to stick that in the car now. Um, been on and off that many times um, the only reason it's ever going to go into the reversing camera is if you go on to the auxiliary in you have to hit that button for it to go it's not just going to go into it by itself um, you've got your FM you've got your music if you've got it connected to your phone your auxiliary in you come on so um, that's your settings there's your photos your music everything works for the price can't really knock it and hopefully this video has been of some help to you got any questions feel free to put them in the um, bit below and I'll do my best to help you out